So welcome back guys. Um in the last video we fixed the uh alerts um flash message and in this video we'll be looking at the change password um uh, functionality for this Laravel admin panel. So um the first thing we need to do we need to uh, let's just close out this need to bring in the web which for the routes and now uh, and now uh, right here we need to create a new route to uh, for our folder for our file rather and now uh, that will be a get request and this will be password and change Change. Uh, I think that is correct. Early. Now this will be user controller, and this will be at password. So let's just call this get password. And now let's give it a name of. You can name it whatever you want, it's up to you. Now I need to open the admin layout and right here. Change password, we need to link um, the file. So let's just go this route. Get password. So uh, we need to create this function right here. So um, we should come down. Get password. We need to return a view. In this view we call it uh, it's still going to be in the profile folder and this will be password. So hopefully this makes sense and now uh, we need to create the password password uh, file right now so I'm just going to take this and control shift s and call this password so um, this will be password now I'm just going to remove all this and let's just save this and call this password just to see where I actually doing the writing. So change password. Uh, change password. So password. So we're actually on the right track now. I've copied some HTML tags. So you can check the project file for that. So it's a card content this and now, uh, so the route is going to post user post uh, user post password. And now, um, so I have, a, I have an input, it's a name of, let me just give it a name of password. Uh, so uh, these are Laravel mm, 
password confirmation works. So you have to put underscore confirmation in front of the name of this for the name of the confirmed password. So what this is actually going to do is it's going to it's going to um when you are validating it, you have to check it against each other. If the password is the same, it's it's um it gives an okay sign if the password is not the same uh, it brings out an error and send the error back to the user so um i think that's all so we actually need to create this route right here and uh, if you actually come to uh, routes, uh, routes i fall for that every time and this will be a post request Um just say password change. So if you use the same thing, the same uh, the same user profile user controller at post password this time and the name the name will be Oh no, <laughs> don't ever do that. Uh, let's look for the name. Yeah, this is the name. Let's just copy that and paste it right here and save. So let's check the design. So this is for the password. Entire new password. So we actually need to fix something right here. This will be confirm. Let me check this. Yeah, confirming password. So right now the is not actually doing anything. So we need to say a public function, and in this function, it's going to be post password, and this will carry the request class in the request. A variable and let's just did the var dump on request or so this way pull out all the requests in form of an array and you wish click okay I actually need to input something I'm just going to input random data um, yeah so this is the new password and this is the uh, confirmation you can see the password are not the same so we're going to uh, put an error there so um the first thing we need to do is to take care of the validation um let's just do away with this and call the validation class referring to this validate and this we carry to and it's going to carry two argument like we all know and this will be number one the request and number two is going to carry some array of data which we are actually going to be validating so the first validation is the new password new password and i'll say this to be required that means you the user must enter uh, the password and right here i'll say i want a minimum minimum of six characters uh, yeah yes uh, and i want a maximum of 20 characters and I want it to be confirmed so this this uh, is what I was talking about earlier so the uh, you have to add the underscore confirmation in front of the name of the uh, new password so as Laravel validation can validate it so if we should pass all that, let's just echo 
Okay. So uh, let's view this. So you can see the error message, the new password confirmation does not match. So let's enter another thing. So this is less than less than uh, six character. So so new password must be at least six characters. So I just type a new password which is password. I think that's greater than six character. So if we should enter, so we get the okay button that everything is okay. So the first thing we need to do is assign a user and this will be the auth the auth user and by by the way there is there are lots of ways you can do this but I think this is the easiest way you can do it. So I'll just say I'll assign user uh, I want to call the update update function right here I'm not I'm not going to update all the feed I'm not going to update all the feed I just want to update just a single feed so I'll call an array I'll call an array and I'll, and I'll say password so this uh, this key is equal to the um, to our role in the database in the user table so um, I want to be great I want to be great to encrypt the password and I'll save the assign request new password so hopefully this makes sense to you you it makes sense to you and uh, I'm having an error because this is an array not a and uh, so after everything I want to return I will have to return a redirect now I'll be redirecting Uh, let me just redirect back. You can redirect to a route, uh, but I'll redirect back. And this is a success message saying uh, the success message saying password has been changed. Uh, I need that spelling and successfully so I think it's double X so um, let's send that line right there and let's just try this out so uh, if we should refresh so password has been changed successfully so you can now log in with the new password and do whatever you want with it so I think we've created uh, one, two, three. We've created three pages out of. Oh, we still have a lot to do. So I'll see you in next video. Bye.